how I two Oscar solves. I'm going to be using the CLL method, which is basically one, make a layer, two, solve the rest. So this is mainly going to be focusing on making the layer because I can't really walk through the last CLL algorithm. It's just sort of, you have to know those. I know most of them. I think it's like all except maybe eight or ten of them. So on to the first scramble. So right here, the first thing I see is yellow. Green also looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to go with green because it's probably common sense, but if you don't know it, then it's very useful. And if you have three, even if you're making a face for if you use Ortega or if you're making a layer like I'm showing here, then if you have three of one color and the fourth one's on top, I used to do something really bad for this, like actually really bad, which was R, U2, R prime, U prime, R, U, R prime. Don't do this. What you should do is if you have something like this where you these are just all different and you're trying to make a layer, and your best bet would probably be to move this one off to this side here relative to where this empty spot is. That way, when you bring this up, I already know that since these two are adjacent, that when I go R2, U prime, R2, I already knew that, that, would, that they would make opposite colors everywhere so I could cancel in to R2, U prime, and then uh, another trick for if you have this checkerboard all around or opposites all around for the layer, you could go R2, F2, R2. So for this scramble, the layer, I'd probably go U, R2, U prime, F2, R2 and then do the CLL. Okay, on to the next scramble. Nothing really good here. All I see is that these two are opposites. They're sort of solved already, and not really these two. I'm gonna go with white, just because I see a good opportunity for doing that same trick I told you earlier, where it's like you have three, and you have one on the top, then you can just do R2, U prime, R prime. So I'm just gonna insert this one like normal, have these two the same, and these two solved. So these two are already solved, which means that if I use R2, U prime, R2, I could just finish the layer. And then, CLL. For this one, um, I see that I have this bar here of already solved pieces. So I, my solution might have something to do with that. I don't really see anything good for blue or orange, even though those are the pieces that are solved in this bar. So I'm probably just going to go with orange and do something really inefficient. R, U prime, R prime to get this in and then insert this piece individually, U prime, R, U prime, R prime. And I don't know this CLL, so I'm just going to do OLL and CLL. So for this scramble, I see that I had a two whites matching even though these colors don't match so what I'm probably gonna do is use that trick again and move insert this piece that way these are adjacent and then I have the same scramble as in the first one where I just move this aside and this time do R2 U and instead of doing R2 I do F2 R2 and then CLO for this scramble, I see that I have these all opposites and these all blue, so I could just insert this one. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to insert this one like normal, as if I were putting it there, but instead of putting it down, I'm going to do R, F2, R2, just cancel into that, and then again, CLO. For this one, I see this bar of white and red. I also see that I can do an R prime to get this piece solved. And white is really inefficient. So, oh, actually, instead of moving this one down, I'm going to do U, R, making these two opposite and these two the same. And then I'm going to move this over and do R2, U prime, R2. And then CLO. Okay, I see these three solved. These two are uh, already in the layer, and the, these two are adjacent. So what I could do is, 
Yeah, actually, I'm going to do red. It seems to have a slightly fewer move count, but I'm going to do R to insert this piece, U, and then insert it like normal, R, U, R prime. And then again, CLL. For this, I see that I have two oranges here. Yeah, I'm going to, I have these two opposite, and I have this one here and this one here, which means I can sort of look ahead and see that I'll have that if I do U R and then sort of go into just inserting this, then I'll have this and I can just do R2, F2, R2. And again I don't know the CLL, so I'm just gonna do O L and PL over time. For this scramble right away I see these two yellows matching and I could go if I were just making a face I would I would definitely go R U prime R, but that doesn't that wouldn't match all these two up so I'd probably go L2 or from this angle R2 and then just insert this in place of this and then insert that it's really inefficient but that's the best I can think of this scramble is really good I have like three places with just already three of the layer already made up so I'm definitely gonna use one of those just which one I don't know any either one of these is fine it's just to insert u prime r u prime r prime and then CLL I just learned this one nope wrong CLL or just I messed up This one's a little easier. For this case, I see yellow matching up and orange matching up, so I'm gonna do something with one of these. I think I'm gonna do the orange because I already see that if I do a U, then I have another bar, which a trick for this. If you have a if you have a bar here and a bar here, you would be able to like match them up, but they're not like they wouldn't go with just one move. You could do U R2 U prime R. As you can get the complete layer and then CLO. And for the last case, I see these three already made. I see this orange and these two oranges, which I could probably just go U R, but that won't get a layer. So I probably do something really bad. And just U prime, R two U prime, R prime U, R U prime R prime. Oh, and then I also have to instead of R prime, I can just do R F two R two. Really inefficient. That would have been like a five or six second solve. Not too good. And it took me a while to recognize the CLL, the CLL for that anyway. So that's it for this video. Make sure to like and. Subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you in my next video.